this is one month's worth of traveling. Clothes, toiletries, electronics. Really like to carry around. If I want to get a motorbike taxi anywhere, it's easy. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. This is one that has actually been requested by a few people because I almost always travel carry on only. I have this amazing bag from Kathmandu. I want to say like five years ago now and it's really held up. I think it's 20 liters and um, it's carry on size and it's a backpack but you can tie the things together and carry it like this. I love it. This is my pride and joy. Right now, I'm in Indonesia. I'm in Bali. As you maybe can tell, I'm a bit sweaty and that's because it's warm here, which means I don't have to bring as much stuff. I love it. Sorry, I keep looking over here because I've got all of my stuff laid out. So I'm going to show you everything that I've packed and then I'll go through it bit by bit, share some of my tips, some things that you definitely should bring, some things you should definitely leave behind. And um, yeah, I'm going to share how I fit all this into a tiny little bag. Before I leave, before I pack, I like to pull out everything that I think I'm gonna take, lay it out on my bed, sort of section it off into like t-shirts, pants, shorts, swimwear, etc. And that way I can see like, am I taking too much? I don't really like to take more than four or five shirts and I just buy laundry powder or get my laundry done while I'm traveling. By laying everything out like this, it's a really good visual way to make sure like you're not taking too much. And you can also see like, oh, hang on, I've forgotten my underwear or like, oh, I've forgotten my computer charger. My number one absolute tip, my number one ride or die, my packing cube. Oh, I love this so much. I bought it in like a set of five. I have lost a few somehow. I don't know. I've had them for like five years, but um, this one is the perfect size for like a trip like this. This fits perfectly inside my little Kathmandu bag. Now I am big on rolling. I think folding takes up too much space. Rolling is the key. So literally I'll just roll everything up. Normally I'll try to keep like similar stuff together so that I don't have to like fully unpack the um, packing cube every time I want to get an outfit out. But really, this is all it is. Just rolling and shoving it in. Rolling, shoving it in. So this is everything except for my shorts. That's pretty impressive. It kind of all really compresses. When it gets to the point that I've like laid the foundation basically, I will just like fold these two and put them on top. Over up. And that's all my clothes. How good is that? Like, I know that I didn't pack that much, but having just like this of all my clothes is so good. The key to packing lightly, I think, is apart from being a minimalist, is just being organized and sort of having a set place for everything. Um, I'm very much like, I hate mess. It stresses me out so much. So I love having like all my clothes in my packing cube. All my underwear and my bikini in here. All my electronics in here. All my toiletries in here. I also don't want to put these on the bed, but I've got a pair of sandals and a pair of runners. So when it comes to choosing the exact items I bring, I always just bring neutrals and plain colors because that way they can kind of mix and match with everything. Like you don't want to bring a patterned top and patterned shorts that you can never wear together. Every single thing I wear can mix and match. So really I've probably got like 20, 30 different outfits here for a month, even though I don't have that much stuff. This isn't like a really like bougie holiday for me. Like for example, when I went to New Caledonia last month, it was like we were staying in nice places, going to nice restaurants. So I brought nice clothes. Whereas this, I'm kind of just like traveling around. I'm gonna be sweaty, I'm working. I'm not doing anything too like glam. Actually, I'm not doing anything glam. So most of what I brought are just active wear. So I've got six t-shirts. All of them pretty plain. Some of them have got some writing on it. Um, but the best thing is two of these t-shirts belong to my boyfriend. So hi, Ant. I style your shirts. But they're good because they're long so I can wear them as a dress. Which again, adds more options to the outfit pool. Three activewear bras, singlet to wear in the gym, three pairs of activewear shorts, denim shorts, which is super comfy. I bar about denim shorts. I have this pair that I wear at home all the time. When I took them to Thailand, they were just so uncomfortable because it was that little bit hotter and sweatier and the denim was kind of new. So it wasn't so like comfy. Do you know, you know what I mean? So this pair is like five years old and I really worn them in and um, Comfy as hell, love it, don't get sweaty in these. And they have heaps of pockets, which is good when you're traveling and you don't want to carry your bag, you just want to go out for a walk, shove your phone and money in your pocket. I've also got a nicer pair of shorts, which I can like, if I want to go out, if I want to go out for dinner or go to like a cocktail place or whatever, once I iron them or hang them up in the shower, they're a little bit nicer. Obviously, I've got swimmers. Like I was tempted to bring a few pairs so that I can, you know, have different looks, different days on the beach, but like at the end of the day, 
why I'm, they're, they're just swimmers, you know? Now, one thing I'll definitely recommend is bringing a towel. I have this tiny little towel from Kathmandu that rolls up really small. It's quick drying. I take it with me when I travel. I love it. It's a bit small, but um, it's good for if you go to the beach or if you stay somewhere that doesn't have a towel or if you stay somewhere and the towel's a bit like gross. I feel like I've been talking a million miles an hour. I just had a giant black coffee. So that's why I'm a bit like, Beep. we bought like a week's worth of underwear, socks and bras. Um, I definitely wash as I go. Um, anytime I stay somewhere that has a sink with a plug or like a bucket, I will get some washing detergent from the supermarket and just hand wash everything. The more often you're happy to wash, the less you have to bring. There's also like places around here that you can get stuff washed for like $2. So that's also very much an option. Because I'm here working, I definitely have like a lot of electronics that look like too much, but it's not. I definitely use all of them. Having my underwear in here, my electronics in here, it kind of just keeps everything like neat and tidy because there's nothing worse than opening a bag and being like oh my god this is a mess don't know where anything is okay. this is definitely overkill you don't need this but um i brought a silk pillowcase because i love it so much and i just like putting it over the pillows of everywhere i stay not because i'm really worried about them being dirty although they could be but it's just nice to sleep on especially when it's hot water bottle comes with me everywhere especially here in bali you can't drink the tap water but they're very environmentally friendly so there's heaps of places you can go and fill up your water bottle for free with drinking water which is perfect and i don't want to be buying big bottles of water all the time bad for the planet it brought two pairs of sunglasses because if i'm going to be wearing like the same clothes every day at least i can mix it up with the sunnies also these ones are prescription so if i need to be able to see like if i'm like driving which i'm not going to be doing but you know if i need to see i've got my prescription ones i do have a kindle which i love i love my kindle so much but I also do like reading physical books, especially on holiday. Like if you're in the sun or if you're at the beach, it's kind of sometimes like I don't want to be looking at my Kindle. So I also brought one book because heaps of cafes and like hotels and stuff will have like communal shelves where you can take a book, leave a book, that sort of thing. Like when I went to Europe, I took up my Kindle and it died within two weeks. And I was like, oh my God, I have no book. I was like, what am I going to do? But then I basically just like took one book from one of those shelves and like, read my way across Europe leaving books behind and it's also a good way to discover new books. Toiletries. Now this is something where I'm not quite as minimalistic as I should be because I'm 30 and I need to look after my skin. When I was young and traveling around I was like it's fine I'll just like wash my face with soap but now I'm like no no I need to be looking after this face. Obviously this is going to vary person to person but just like bring what you need every day. Toothbrush, toothpaste, shampoo, deodorant i always always travel with rose hip oil or some kind of like face oil because this is the best for sunburn if i even if i just get like slightly toasted i put this on it just cures it i always travel with this i just make sure i get everything in small sizes or i get little these from kmart for like two bucks fill them up with shampoo always always bring sunscreen i found that in most places that i go to overseas when you go to buy sunscreen at the pharmacy it's so expensive just they know that the tourists are going to be buying it it's like things that you kind of tend to want to pack in case you need it but then don't end up using like you know like itchy itchy cream for like when you get bit or things like that but really you can buy that at local pharmacies for way cheaper than it would be back home and um, then you're not carrying it around in your bag just on the off chance that you'll need it so i think it's good to go over everything that you've packed and think to yourself do i actually need this am i actually going to use this what's its purpose in my bag <laughs> you know miscellaneous bobs my switch because i'm traveling by myself and i get bored sometimes <laughs> noise cancelling headphones I love these so much. They work really well. I think they're like less than a hundred bucks, the JBLs, and you can plug them in as well as being wireless. My latest lifesaver that I have acquired recently is a three meter long iPhone charging cable. It is like very long and maybe overkill, but it's perfect if you're staying somewhere where the PowerPoint is not next to the bed. Or like yesterday, I was sitting at my desk working and there's only one PowerPoint next to the desk and then the other PowerPoint's on the other side of the room. I need to plug in my computer, but then I can plug my phone into the other one and still have it next to me. These are amazing. Apple sells them and they're probably better than this shitty one I got off Amazon, but whatever, it does the job. And then the little bits and bobs like my book, my switch, my headphones, my water bottle, etc., can just go in a little tote bag or I can just like shove them down the side of the suitcase. So I did also bring a little backpack 
Now, some airlines you can take like a big carry-on and then a little one, um, some you can't. So when I traveled here, I literally just put this inside my Kathmandu bag and it fit perfectly. I kind of just like lay it on top, zipped it up, Bob's your uncle. Obviously, if you're like coming here to just like chill out, you're not gonna be like hiking or carrying heaps of shit around. You probably don't need a backpack, but um, cause I am carrying my laptop around, I wanna go on a few hikes. I've got the backpack, but because it fits in my bag so easily, it's just like, chuck it in. Um, one pro tip is always wear your heaviest shoes and pack your lightest shoes, but I have enough space in here that I can wear my sandals when I'm traveling and just shove my runners into the top of this bag. God, I love this bag so much. That's it. This is one month's worth of traveling. Now, obviously this is gonna be easier when you are traveling to warmer places. Because when I went to Europe, I was there for like 10 months. So I had summer, winter, everything in between, which means that I had to bring a lot more stuff slash buy stuff along the way slash I ended up coming home with a very heavy bag, not ideal. I realized that packing light isn't for everybody, but it is so convenient. Not having to wait around for your bags, not having your bags maybe be lost, just like traveling from place to place, just everything, it's so much easier. Like yeah, maybe it sucks that I can't have like a million cool outfit choices and look good in my Instagram photos, but really at the end of the day, whatever. So that is how I pack for a trip. If you have any specific questions, let me know in the comments below if you think I missed anything. Let me know and um, yeah, hopefully this has helped you a little bit back lighter. Um, yeah, bye. Happy traveling.